Welcome to this video playing Mr. Boris from the UK. Played him before. I have um, I have this window. Um, wait. Oops. This was too much. I have this window. Had this window closed with the statistics. Wanted to check. I, I won two times and played one draw against this guy. Okay, the king's Indian. Let's go with with h3. One of my lines. Yeah, come on, let's play play it in a boring boring way. I don't feel like a complicated game so much. Okay, let's see. I can play many moves here. Rookie eight is the most conservative one. C6, yeah, also possible. Rook E8, long castles is White's point. Rook E5, Rook D8. So normally um, black goes um, Knight A6 here. Taking some time. Curious. Knight f3 is not the only move, but this is the one that I have had analyzed a while ago. The point is that uh, this is not so easy, or at least much trickier than it looks. If he takes um, on e4, or Knight e4, knight e4, and so on. Rook e4 at the end is rook d8, bishop f8, bishop h6, and white is winning. So he, so he has to play h6, basically. Uh, unless he wants to play it as a complete sacrifice, you can try that. Just play a5 or something like that. But then I go f3 and keep the pawn, which is not completely clear. But um, h6 is the normal move, after which... White can take and keep the pawn, but this is um, quite um, quite a big concession to give up the dark squared bishop. H6, bishop f f6, bishop f6 is quite good for black. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, he he didn't he didn't play h6. After h6, I, I just retreat to e3, and now I'm just keeping the pawn. So this is. As mentioned, not entirely clear, but um, it, it shouldn't be um, quite enough compensation. Okay, is it f f five? Maybe, maybe you can go f five. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not, not sure. I don't want to spend so much time and uh, spoil this time advantage. It's quite nice to have in this endgame. Hmm. I really Check. think, yeah, I thought f5 really. Maybe this, yeah, this is an interesting way to play. I don't want to take really this. Um, it's as, as mentioned, quite a big concession. Hmm. I can play b4. I can play b4. This is quite quite good. Huh? This is not uh, where you want to go to e6. So just just complete development now f5 I can simply take. Maybe I should have considered to play g4 even. Yeah, but not really necessary. Taking... Uh, ah. Hmm, yeah, c5, this is a good move. Making it a bit difficult, technically. Yeah, he's got this knight d4 idea. OK, 
Okay, I, tr I try to activate the bishop on f3. So on f5 I have e5. And the idea is to play e5 myself if if possible under under good circumstances. Not sure. Hmm. Uh, yes, gained some play. He really has gained some play here. It's quite, quite nice to see that I'm still ahead on the clock. Okay, maybe I can with this with this. I can take on d5, of course. Yeah, that's that's stupid, really stupid chess. He can just on knight d5. My intention was to threaten knight c7 and rook takes d4, but he can of course simply take it. He can simply take it. Hmm. Okay, maybe this one. But not the plan, not the original plan, but still. The idea is to go knight d5. Takes knight d5, yeah. Yeah. C4, rook a4, no, 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 no. I want to play active, active uh, moves. Active, active play is more important. Rook b5, rook b1 is my idea. And then quickly activate the king. F6, I think, is the good, is the right move. Okay. This uh, I like. Being, uh, being much more active. Mm, rook d1 to d7. Rook d6. Ah, this first, this first. Check. The rook on d6 is not doing so much, really. Okay, can I? Um, yeah, this one. So, uh, how to how to minimize his counterplay? Maybe rook d3. Yeah, this is good. Keeping this pawn, and he really has no good good move. Yeah, now my my pawns pawns uh, advance. Yeah, okay, I can I can do that. I have two pawns. Check. Black resigns. Wow, yeah, very intense uh, defense. This is always a bit tricky. It looks like it's just a pawn, but it 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 it. You need to be precise, and. Um, he was certainly okay again at some point. Yeah, this 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 looks okay. Check. And uh, maybe maybe here, before. Here exactly here, there is need for. There is need for precision because of this c five this c five move. It's very difficult in this um, in this situation with c5, b5. He has this d, d4 uh, square, but the computer is uh, just giving the good solution here. B5, of course. Mm. 
yeah this is this is very good very good yeah this is really excellent i mean i even have bishop c4 not right now because of the c file but it, it activates my bishop so black will not take it will go back and in this position i have i have proper control over d4 and can just uh, continue with normal moves king c2 or whatever knight d5 yeah this is this is pretty much just a pawn i have this knight d5 move which is very helpful yeah, and uh, well, after that, probably knight d5. I don't know. This wasn't wasn't a great idea. Let's uh, at the end. It's a very very shaky position. Yeah, he. This was a point or knight b5 is also good probably. Yeah, this is better even. Okay, but he took on c3, and now we got the rook end game. And here it's really a question. He can play all kinds of moves, rook a2 and so on. And this, uh, this is this is slightly better for white. Unless he plays f6, and this is the, the comp move, yeah. I mentioned this in the game already. He must play f6, yeah. This is the right one. And probably will lead to lead, will lead to a draw. If I take then rook e6, covering this and getting f6, here black is even better because of the structure. So I will probably after f6 take b6 and it will, will, will be a draw. And this now is uh, is just uh, just a very good position for white. But this can easily happen with a little time on the clock. Check. He uh, he got into this trouble because of uh, a low clock time. I think f6 is a move that he would find with more time. All right, interesting endgame. Thanks for watching.